The cleaner who raped and murdered a school teacher just days before her wedding will die behind bars. Today, Vincent Stanford was sentenced to life in prison without parole for killing Stephanie Scott. A man so disturbed and dangerous, there was no other option. For the murder of Stephanie Scott, you are sentenced to imprisonment for life. Those words followed by gasps from Stephanie Scott's shattered family. This is what they had prayed for. The past 18 months have been most difficult and harrowing time. So much has been taken away from us and Stephanie has everything taken away from her. A week away from marrying her fiancé when Stanford grabbed her at Leeton High School, dragged her to a storeroom, then raped and murdered her. This is where police were first confronted with the horror of what had happened to Stephanie Scott. Her burnt remains found here in the Coco Parrot National Park. Her killer later confessed to every awful detail, telling officers he just couldn't stop himself. On that, Justice Hume says there was not the slightest hint of remorse. And it got worse before Stanford targeted Miss Scott. He had stalked three other local females, found with 1,805 images of one aged just 12. He told officers if he had abducted her, he probably would have killed her. There can be no question that the offender is a very disturbed individual. The offender will, for a considerable period of time, represent a serious danger to the safety of the community. Are you really sorry for what you did? My police actually work and live within the community, that they've had to do this investigation. Uh, it's a testament to their abilities that we're here today with the result that we've got today. Life is the only sentence for this for this animal. Sticking close to the man Stephanie was supposed to marry, her family is now looking forward. Stephanie would want us to resume our lives. We need to be kind to ourselves and let the music and fun back in. But first they'll mark her 28th birthday tomorrow. We will be having a cup of tea and a mint slice biscuit at three. So please join us. The man who ripped out their hearts in the distance for the rest of his life. Kelly Fedor, Nine News.